G'day, Gavin from Aussie Bush Pens here, uh, back in the Honey Dipper video. Uh, made comment and I used the unconventional thin parting tool. A couple of you said, how did you make it? Well, this is going to be a quick how-to uh, and because it's going to be a lot of grinding, I'll talk during, I'll put a voiceover or something like that. So yeah, let's do it. Now the knife I picked up for this, and that's all it is, is a stainless steel cook's knife. Well, this one's a bread knife, but that's all I picked up. This one's too long. So I'm going to need to cut it down. I don't know. Let's guesstimate it out there. So here I am, I'm cutting it to length. A few things worth going over is, yes, I know it's stainless steel. Yes, I know it's cheap stainless steel. You can pick these up from thrift stores, op shops, um, or a, a cheapo shop. So I picked this particular knife up from a, a cheap shop. And I know its limitations. I know that it uh, doesn't stay sharp very long and I've always got to resharp it. What I'm doing here is I'm just cutting the bread knife blades off so I can't cut myself later. And then I'll, I'll grind them flat and then smooth them out so there's no burrs. So yeah, it's uh, it's a bread knife. The first one was a, a cook's knife, but they didn't have any in stock when I bought them. Why didn't I buy a parting tool? Well, I was broke. Still am. I like to do things on the cheap when I can. And, you know, there's so many different ways of doing this across the internet. I just went for a nice, cheap, easy option. Now, the other one in the Honey Dipper video, that's over three years old now, and it's still going strong. And it's cutting Aussie hardwoods like, you know, no problems. Iron bark, red gum, black butt, etc. And yeah, I've got to sharpen it a bit more. And yes, I know it's cheap, but it does me. Here I am, what I'm doing is I'm just cutting the point, you know, the, the angles. There's nothing scientific about this, ladies and gentlemen. It's just cutting them, guesstimations, and then making it work. So... This is an option. I could have, you know, picked up cheaper stuff online, but then I would have had to have paid postage. All I'm doing here, guys, is I'm grinding the shape to my grinder. And this is how I sharpen it now from now on in. Um, so I'll grind the short side and then I'll grind the long side to match my grinder. And yep, that's all it is. Now, when I first started turning, I only had a cheap set of record power, high carbon steel tools. Um, really short, short handles. With those, I made a set of carbide tip. I made it myself. I made myself this parting tool. And I've built up my tools over the years. So it does a job for $6. I've already got a parting tool. A little bit of time, it's got a handle, don't need to do anything else. And as I said, the previous one's done for three years. I live out in the country, so I have to pay for postage for anything I buy, unless I go to the, the cheap store. And it's amazing what you can make do with when you have to. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps someone out. There are dozens of ways of doing this on YouTube and the internet, but this is just something I thought I'd give it a shot. and. It's worked for me. I hope it works for you too. All right. Uru.